Anybody else would have looked at me and thought, this woman is crazy. My name is Tina Hughes and I'm a graduate of Quincy College. The idea of going back to school was very scary. I was a litigation paralegal for many years and then left that career and did some soul searching, just trying to understand what do I want to do with myself. Um, at the time I was a foster mom and I loved taking care of kids and taking care of people. So I thought, I'd be a really good nurse. I'm going to be a nurse. The memory is very vivid for me. I've got my two young kids in tow, holding their hands, coming up the long metal staircase, walking through the doors, uh, coming to the front reception desk and saying, um, I'd like to talk to somebody about attending the nursing program. Didn't have an appointment. I was literally just a woman on a mission. And I was ushered in to sit down and meet with the admissions counselor. I said, how many classes do I have to take to go into the nursing program? She said, six. And without hesitation, we mapped out a plan of how I was going to get all of these six classes done. Any other person would have looked at me and thought, this woman is crazy. I've got my two young kids who absolutely are not controllable in there. She can see my stress. She can see the magnitude of everything that's going on in my life at the time. And she never doubted me. She never doubted my commitment or my motivation. She believed in me instantly and helped me achieve my goal. I feel like, honestly, if I had met any other person, I would have a very different outcome. Because the confidence that I had in my education, I left Quincy College, I graduated a very confident individual. And that confidence has allowed me to really catapult my career leaps and bounds. I went from being an LPN to a family nurse practitioner in a very short period of time. And now I own my own practice as a family nurse practitioner. I, I think it's just really important to surround yourself with your people, with your community. Um, and I was very fortunate that I didn't have to go through multiple stops to find my community. I walked through the doors and I found the person that believed in me. I found the person that was going to make it happen for my goal and I found my community.